Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation? Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? What? Who are you? Yeah, the name's, uh, Clive. Oh? And how long have you been spying on us? Ah, uh, no need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Juliana? <laughs> as shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. Hmm. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now, back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes. What would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then, you'll defeat the bosses of the team, and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their roles somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah, yes. I can see them over there. On the other side of those is the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Juliana. They're basically declarations of war. Now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So, let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokémon inside to fend off intruders. And the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your Garden Variety Trainer would be overrun long before they got anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Juliana. Defeat the Pokémon inside the base, and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first, though. You'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright. And what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as Juliana's support. You're a cautious one, all right. I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Welp, go get him, Juliana. 
I, I have no idea what you mean, hey. But if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? Well, all right, time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. Defended myself, all right, but it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Uh, whoa! Uh, thanks for the terrible news. Uh, excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. I'll still have E Star! <laughs> Hey, Juliana. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. What? Is that you, Charlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? This is Charlos, the Char Cadet. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Uh, Charlos, wait! He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I'd better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Juliana. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shedder Squad. Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means her best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once no one's left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Shedder Squad off the map. Careful now, Juliana. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. 
To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokémon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokémon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokémon too, so stay sharp out there. Heads up, gang! Some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking she can raid our base. Clearly she doesn't understand who she's messing with. Let's teach her a lesson she won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokémon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Right here, right now. You're going down. This move will torture till there ain't nothing but ash left. That was for the rest of the Shatter Squad. I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. Is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Char Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? <laughs> I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut up with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordi. The girls at the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Millie is. She just puts on a surly attitude, so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Ari. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss? What, pray, is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had. Now I've sputtered out. 
guess this is where it ends. That Gyarados of yours really let us have it. Beating me in battle is a huge deal. So, here. Take this star badge and be proud of yourself. While I'm at it, you can have this TM, too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Gyarados. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? A Char Cadet? Wait. Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? <sighs> Charlos... To me? It looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall. No, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Huh. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Juliana, it's me. It seems Mela no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, did she? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shedder Squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mela. Sorry. Got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make in TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokémon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Hello. I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. Oh! So you do remember, but, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. You know, 
the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go. Your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokémon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Our voices shall conquer the internet.